This is BBC Two, and it's time now for Music Time. Hello. Hello. That's Linda on her way to school. Do you walk to school? Or perhaps you ride on the bus? But whichever way you go, there are bound to be plenty of sounds to hear, like the sound of your own footsteps. Linda and her friends to let me join them on their walk to school and we're going to listen to all the different sounds we can hear on the way. Right, shall we go? through this market because it's quite a noisy place. Plenty to listen to. See how many different sounds you can hear. If anyone else on them planters there, clear a few of them out of the way here. Give us a pound of them planters here, lot. They're all made in England. Here, lot, one pound of them planters. Let's clear a few of them out of the way. Here, anyone else on them, lot, here, a pound. Anyone else on them planters there, here, a pound. Here, lot, coffee mugs free for a pound. St Bartholomew's Fair was a street market, not very different from that one, but it took place in London many years ago. part of the song again. Once a year in London town there's a place to meet. You sing that. Come in after four. Ready? Three, four, once a year in London town there's a place to meet. And again. Three, four, once a year in London town there's a place to meet. Listen to the next part of the song. 
Noble men and peasants poor gather in the street. You sing it. Ready? Three, four noble men and peasants poor gather in the street. And again. Three, four noble men and peasants poor gather in the street. And the song ends like this. Listen. At St. Bartholomew's Fair. Your turn. And come in after three this time. Ready? One, two, three, at St. Bartholomew's Fair. And again. One, two, three, at St. Bartholomew's Fair. Now sit up and sing the song from the beginning. Wait for the introduction and come in after four. Three, four, once a year in London town, there's a place to meet. Noble men and peasants poor gather in the street at St. Bartholomew's Fair. Did you hear the drums playing just then? Well, here they are. It's a computer, and the computer made those sounds. It's got tom-toms, snare drum, bass drum, a hi-hat, cowbell, hand claps, a tambourine, and lots of others. The computer programmer can use any of those sounds to build up some rhythm patterns. I'll show you. My regular beat there. Clever, isn't it? I'll set it up for the song. You keep the regular beat going in time with the computer. children have each been choosing one that's good for playing a regular beat. Michelle, what have you chosen? Tumble. Right, can we hear it? Yes. Okay, now can you think of a different way of playing the tambour? She could use a beater. Yes, yeah, she could use a beater. There we are, try it. Jay, what have you chosen? The maracas. Can we hear it? Yes. It doesn't sound like right. it sounds like a triangle. Yes, it's not very easy to play a regular beat on maracas, is it? Choose something else. The paper cups. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? Yes. 
Right, you hang on to those. Now, Sandra, what have you chosen? Good blocks. Can you play that for us? Thank you. And Jamie, what have you chosen? The chime bar. Can we hear it? Thank you. Now, bring your instruments with you and we'll get you to play them in the song. heard some regular beats on their walk to school. Can you hear them? Linda's footsteps have a regular beat. And the sound of chopping up the meat. The music coming from the radio has a strong, regular beat. And more footsteps. The sound of footsteps gave the children an idea for some music. Jamie. How did you go about it? We listened to lots of different footsteps, old men, young men and children, and we played them on our instruments. Then Jay made a tune. Did you, Jay? Can we hear it? That's a good tune. Michelle, you've got a bass xylophone there. What are you playing on it? Footsteps. Footsteps. Could we hear them? OK, thank you, Michelle. Sandra, what do you play in the piece? Fast footsteps. Fast footsteps. Yeah. Could we hear them? Thank you. Jamie, what are you playing? Slow footsteps. Slow footsteps. Let's hear them. Good. Thank you, Jamie. We'll ask the children to put all those patterns together now and play their music. And they've called it footsteps. time. When the children got to school, they heard lots more sounds. You listen to some of them and decide if the sound has a regular beat or not. Here comes the first one. Listen.
Do the footsteps have a regular beat? Yes. Tap it quietly with me. Here's another sound. Does this one have a regular beat? Listen. The answer? Yes, the song has a regular beat. Tap it with me. Try another one. Listen. What do you think? Try tapping a regular beat in time with the typewriter. No, it doesn't have a regular beat. And one more. Listen. And the answer? Yes, the telephone ring has a regular beat. It's a very slow one. Tap it with me. Before the next program, start making a list of all the different sounds you can hear on your journey to school. Goodbye. Well, 20th century history follows next on two, and that's in just over three minutes. <laughs>